Welcome back. Well, big news coming in from the Reserve Bank of India where they will be discontinuing the incremental CRR in a phase manner. We have Lata with us to take us through the news. Well, Lata, it, there was a 30% expectation of this. Yeah, there was a 20% expectation that it will entirely go away and a 30% expectation that it will, you know, it will be reduced to 5%. 5, uh, 5%. This is kind of, uh, I mean, nobody had such an innovative way of uh, describing it. I think uh, uh, RBI has uh, done a great job by coming with a surprise which will perhaps please the market. Mm. So, uh, you know, the money that they have impounded, so to speak, in the form of cash reserve ratio will be slowly released to the market. That is 25% will be released uh, on September 9th, that is tomorrow, uh, starting tomorrow. And then uh, the, they'll start releasing the, the remaining 25% on September 23rd. Mm -hmm. So, you know, at the time when there is a, a deficit, a little bit of money is coming back to the system. And uh, finally, by October 7th, they are going to return all the money uh, that they have impounded. So the CRR will fall to zero. Mm -hmm. That uh, is the arrangement. that, And I think that makes a lot of sense. Because by the time you come to November, uh, we had uh, Samiran Chakrabarti and A. Prasanna of uh, ISEC PD telling us that by November, usually the Indian economy starts pulling out ec money from the banking mm -hmm. system for expenditure for the festivals. Yeah. So anyway, at that time, the banking system goes into a, or was expected to go into a deficit, yeah. the interbank liquidity. And uh, therefore, this phased out seems to almost dovetail with uh, that natural period of the uh, banking system moving into deficit. Uh, I think this will be very positive. Uh, maybe you want to pull up uh, all the private sector banks because they run a very tight ship. They don't keep one rupee extra. So you must expect the private sector banks to react a little more positively uh, because uh, for them that money is uh, uh, you're more likely to be of use, immediately put into use. Though this is going to be an across-the-board positive. ICRR is a huge uh, punishment for the banking system. Mm. They don't get any interest on 1.1 lakh crore. It was not a very palatable decision at all. It had to be done because inflation had gone to 7.4. Mm. And they wanted to ensure that the banks were not lending very easily. Yeah. And thereby, you know, P2P lending, all kinds of uh, consumer lending kind of becomes a little difficult when you can't earn money on some part of your mm. deposits. Now that it is getting released, things will ease out a little mm. for the banking system. Uh, my uh, sense is that you must see all the private sector banks uh, kind of continue their celebration. It started about a couple of days back, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, I think HDFC Bank will be the biggest beneficiary. By October 7th, you know, of that 1.1 lakh crore, I'm given to understand 50,000 crore was impounded by, mm. uh, from uh, mm. HDFC, HDFC Bank. HDFC. Now they can put that money to work. Okay. Uh, of course, they probably lost two months of interest on it. So where no. will the incremental funds go by the banks? Will it, it go into credit Where growth? they want to invest. Yeah, of course. Mm. I mean, it, it, uh, at the moment where you are investing, it will go to the same uh, places. Same place. But it is just that overall <laughs> they were not making money mm, and they were spending this. money raising mm. that deposits. Mm. They were spending 5 to 6 percent raising those deposits and you, you have to keep it lazy. Mm. You have to keep it uh, idle. That's not a very happy uh, situation. Mm. And uh, now you can start lending and making money on it. So the amount of loss is now reduced to just that two months, you know, mm. uh, from August 10th to uh, October 7th, whatever you have lost in terms of interest, that's it. Uh, there, is a, there is an end to it. I think a, a huge sigh of relief for the banking system. Okay, and you can see it in the Nifty Bank as well, which is uh, up around 463 odd points. In fact, on a week to date basis, we have the Nifty Bank, which has risen around 2 odd percent. So, Lata, you know, that underperformance which is coming in for the Nifty Bank really uh, started to get corrected towards the mid of this week. And when this news started, uh, doing the rounds that maybe there could be some amount of phasing out with regards Look, to... There is the another advantage sphere. as well and I think we should pull up the bond yields also. Mm. Bond yields also became a little higher when the liquidity was pulled out. Mm -hmm. Now that the liquidity is going to be returned, uh, bond yields have, as you can see, moved down a wee mm. bit. So there is that bit of gain as well, mark-to-market gains. Mm. Uh, on September 30th, you will, uh, you, your mark-to-market gains will be counted. And if bond prices rise by then, which they are bound to because of the uh, higher uh, liquidity available, that also is an additional benefit for the banking system. And it will also mean that those who are borrowing, for instance, NBFCs, mm. the uh, near-term market had gotten tight even for them. Not a great deal because it was a very, very near-term problem. Mm. But it's uh, overall a bit of an ease uh, in terms of borrowing that 
the liquidity which was taken away is going to be returned within a month all that money is going to come back to the system october 7th so yeah. we are sitting in, on september 8th so yeah. in a month all the money is going to be returned that certainly removes uncertainty it removes that liquidity pressure and uh, therefore in a way any all interest rate sensitive stocks on the margin are marginally relieved mm. oh absolutely and all of these private uh, banks like uh, lata was mentioning i've seen a quite a spike higher even hdfc bank which was anyway trading you know well in the green has seen that move higher a lot of names like axis icici which were in the red up until you know about an hour ago have seen quite a move higher right now all of these sitting at the high point of the day we are going to try and get you some more you know reactions on this as well but lata in the meantime you want to just take us through the kind of impact this decision had had in terms of you know uh, the amount of liquidity yeah i mean it first of all it was unexpected yeah. the mm. uh, on august 10th see you you're talking about uh, the uh, 2000 rupee liquidity created on may 19th on yeah. may 19th rbi said 2000 rupees have to be returned and that liquidity came in all through may and june nothing happens in july nothing happens suddenly in yeah. august 10th you are bombarded with this it did catch the system uh, with a great deal of uh, surprise and shock mm. that so much of money is going to be impounded by the rbi quite suddenly and you know banks are always uh, Are trying to uh, outdo one another in uh, getting deposits yeah. mm. now that race became much worse uh, i i mean we've seen advertisements in our, on our own uh, channel isn't it rbl offering over 8% or something for a very specific yeah. i think senior citizens or some specific category but 8% mm. for a deposit mm. i mean how much you have to lend to yeah. be able to make money on it agreed it was for a short time for a very small <laughs> category but there was a war for deposits So in a way all banks are going to report a little bit of lower than expected margins in the current quarter mm. but uh, analysts will take it in their stride that this is a one quarter affair mm. and uh, kind of a little bit of normalcy is getting restored so i mean banks were uh, clearly fighting in certain pockets you know mm. when uh, one week money one month money three month money three month money it's a very common deposit or a very popular deposit product all these people were ready to offer the moon uh, and sometimes even for one year because that is the more popular uh, fd yeah. mm -hmm. so there was a pressure on the cost of money for banks across the board because you have to also offer a product which depositors will buy mm -hmm. you may want money for 27 days or <laughs> you can offer an fd product like that so they have to offer for 6 months or 3 months in the process you are getting into a high cost uh, a commitment and then you have to make money on it So for banks, it was a difficult time, and there were lots of bankers who were telling me just because the price of tomatoes have risen, bankers are being punished. <laughs> you know, that was the uh, uh, yeah. anger, or that was the uh, the level of frustration with that uh, measure. It had to be announced in the common good because uh, RBI has made a, a study, which uh, you know Samiran had quoted, mm. that uh, if you increase the liquidity in the system by one and a half percentage points, mm. then a few months down the line, inflation rises by. Uh, 60 basis points okay. and at a time when you know you're already battling 7% inflation you at least want to remove other things that can exacerbate it mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, therefore i think the bitter pill had to be swallowed both by rbi and the banking system okay well it's definitely reflecting in the nifty bank and like you mentioned hdfc bank as well which has moved to the high point of the day that Maybe particular you stock pull up a one week of that uh, bank nifty and hdfc bank and the private banks uh, the nifty bank itself on a week to date basis has risen around 2 or percent and on a week to date basis nifty the hdfc bank stock has risen close to around 4 or percent so 3 and a half or percent to be precise for hdfc bank as of now the nifty bank has also moved to the high point of the day most of the constituents in the green as we speak well thanks lata for that uh, we